6. Well, new developments as a bond has been set for Dylan Champagne. The armed suspect is Jennings police arrested after a manhunt earlier this week. Now we first reported about this when Jennings High School closed because of Champagne's uh, Champagne being armed on campus. News 10's Jasmine Dean has an in-depth look at what led up to Champagne's arrest. After a 14 hour manhunt, 37 year old Dylan Champagne was captured here off of Highway 97 on the Janky Bridge by the Jennings Police Department. When I spoke with Police Chief Danny Sims, he tells me this is the first time his department has experienced something like this, but he's proud of the combined efforts of local and state law enforcement agencies and Champagne's capture. We, we've never had this incident before, but we trained for it and uh, training paid off. Jennings Police Chief Danny Sims says just before 6 a.m. Monday morning, his department received a 911 call with no response. He says after tracing the call to Jennings High School, officers arrived to employees informing them of an armed suspect attempting to rob them. We began a perimeter search around the area. Sim says prior to Champagne arriving at the high school, he allegedly stole a crawfish truck in Dusan and parked it at a local gas station in Jennings before stealing a BMW off of a transport truck. When he realized it was in transport mode, it wouldn't go very fast. He ditched it right there next to the school. Authorities say he then fired a gun in the air before fleeing the scene. Chief Sims says the manhunt lasted 14 hours with the help of the Jeff Davis Parish Sheriff's Office, the Louisiana State Police Aviation Unit, and K-9 officers in drones from the Allen Correctional Center. An officer on the scene was flagged down by a passerby who said they had witnessed the subject on the the janky bridge that crosses the Nipake River. Sim says his officers arrested Champagne and recovered the firearm. During questioning, Champagne admitted to being under the influence of narcotics while fleeing before he was arrested. Sim says all efforts to capture Champagne paid off and he is proud of everyone involved. That's a cooperative effort between departments and that just goes to show you what, what can be done when when law enforcement puts their heads together. Champagne is currently booked in the Jeff Davis Parish jail with a bond set for $1.3 million. In Jeff Davis Parish, Jasmine Dean, KLFY News 10.